Good morning, hello, it's Friday the 28th of September, it's 9 o'clock and I thought I would start the weekend vlog off here. I'm at Latham's, if you can see um, Latham's, I don't know, you might not have ever heard of Latham's. It's a funny shop here in Norfolk, it's a good shop. Um, they've got like a cafe and everything you can imagine. They sell all sorts in here and they even send, sell some like cheap Emma Bridgewater stuff. Um, so I'll have a look, see if they've got any nice things today and they've got lots of mugs. Mugs! More mugs. I haven't got a mug of the day. I've got a bottle of water of the day. That's not very exciting. So yeah, I'm about to go into Latham's to have a little potter around. It's in Potterheim. That's the name of the place in Norfolk. Um, and it's kind of on the broads. It's quite a nice little place actually. So I'm going to go in this. I haven't been to Latham's for ages. And then I'm going to go to a car boot sale in Stalham to see if they've got any bargains. That starts at 11. So I thought I'd just come here, have a little wander around, have a coffee and then go to the boot sale. I nearly didn't come on I, I thought I might just go back home and carry on tidying up and like have some coffee at home but then I thought no the weather is really good and we're not going to have weather like this for much longer so I'll make the effort and go to the boot sale there's quite a few things on this weekend actually tomorrow there's a jumble sale at 11 o'clock so I'm going to go to that there's also two car boot sales going on in Great Yarmouth so I'm going to go to them as well hopefully that's the plan anyway and then Sunday I'll go to a car boot sale either in Norwich or Great Yarmouth at Julie's car boot sale so I'm gonna it's like a bargain hunting weekend and the weather's going to be quite nice so I thought before they all well a lot of the car boot sales finish don't they but there's a few that go on all year um in Norfolk and I found out the other day there's one in Norwich that goes on all year round it's on like a uh, concrete so I didn't know that that was very exciting finding that out um so yeah I just thought I'd say hello I'd start the weekend vlog off I hope you're okay and um I'll probably show you around Latham's a little bit and then yeah go and grab a coffee It's all changed in here. <laughs> I'm gonna have coffee in here first, then have a look around. And this is what I'm having for breakfast. I've got some sourdough toast, butter, and some jams. I love this jam. This might be the best toast I've ever eaten in my life. It's amazing. Oh, so good. Mmm, mm, want some? Here's some Emma Bridge water things that are still quite expensive. Really sweet. A lunchbox and bag. And some more here as well. Pins. Look at these mugs. And there's a funny dog one. This is the rest of the mugs here. They've got loads of mugs. I think a lot of these are from John Lewis. I think they're second. I don't know if there's any catching my eye. Oh, it's quite sweet. Hmm. It's 20 to 11, so I'm going to go to the car boot sale. I'm not going to buy anything today because I don't really need anything and um, I didn't see any things for Toby like presents but I'm gonna go to the car boot sale and see if they've got any bargains there but I hope you enjoyed uh, looking around Latham's. It's just over there but there's not many stalls. It normally starts here but it is the Friday one so I might come to this one. Oh there's a there's a wire let me go underneath. Uh, uh, yeah it normally starts here with all stalls here but um, it is Friday. So I think I might come to this one on Sunday. I might try and do two car boot sales on Sunday. Oh, but let's go. Oh, it really smells. It smells of manure. I like that camper van car thing. It's really cute. I like the colours. And it took me about 10 minutes to go up and down like through the stalls there was only about 10 stalls I think but I bought some things uh, I think I spent about five pounds so you just never know um, what you can find and I found one item which I'll show you in the car Actually, I'll just show you now that was 40p and I spied it in one of the boxes on the floor. I'm back home now, it's about two o'clock and I'm just gonna upload my Poundland haul and schedule it for about 
half past five, quarter to six, um, because I'll be watching Toby playing football. Um, so I'm just going to do that now quickly and then go and pick him up and take him to Norwich. Um, I went to Asda, TK Maxx and did I go anywhere else? Oh, next I had to pick up some bedding. Um, so what I'm going to do is a homeware haul. I don't think I've done a homeware haul. I think I might have done ages ago, but um, yeah, I've had to actually buy some new things because I couldn't find blankets and the certain colours I want <laughs> second hand. So I'll do a homeware haul with all those bits and bobs um, probably next Sunday, I reckon. I don't know, I'm quite liking uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. I know that's probably quite a lot, but it just, it feels right. And you've got to kind of keep up with your life, otherwise things will be in bags for ages. So yeah, I will do the homeware haul for Sunday. So when you're watching this Monday, it'll be for, um yeah, Sunday coming up. But I better go, because I've got to quickly put my video on YouTube and sort out like the picture, the thumbnail and stuff like that. So I'll probably speak to you later before I, um or when I'm at my gig before or after. I'm at Braden Water Holiday Park tonight in Yarmouth. Tomorrow I'm at Caister Holiday Park and Sunday Hemsby, I think it's Hemsby Beach. So I've got some nicer local gigs, which is great because last weekend I was kind of driving all over the place. Um, so yeah, not far tonight, which is lovely. Hello, it's nine o'clock now and I'm backstage and I just quickly wanted to show you my top. So this is one of the tops I found at Wimbledon Village in Wimbledon Village in a charity shop. I think it was a Zara one. Um, and it's really nice. So I wasn't sure what to wear because the weather's been so weird, isn't it? It's been like really hot and then it's been really cold. So I was like, what do I wear? So I've just chucked this on with a pair of jeans and then some flip flops because um, it's just easy when I change into my dress. So I'm gonna get ready now and I will speak to you in the morning. Hello, it's now Saturday. It's uh, almost half past nine and I'm off to the car boot sale. Well, there's two actually I want to go to in, one's in Caister and one is in Rollsby. I think that was on today. And then at 11 o'clock, there's the jumble sale. So that's uh, my morning, finding bargains. I don't know what to wear, it's sunny, but it's cold. So I've got on a woolly jumper, one from Asda that I got the other day. And then I'm gonna put jeans and flip flops on because I just don't know what to wear. I don't know. It's going to be warm later, but it's cold now. It's confusing me. I'm going to take along a top, actually, a, like a T-shirt thing, um, in case it gets really warm. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to make myself a coffee and then head to the boot sales. I'm halfway round. I've not found anything. So I'll keep going, but there's nothing on that last two rows. I'm so glad I bought this top along. I know I wore it last night, but it's not smelly. Um, yeah, it's really hot. You know, the weather lies to you. The weather's like, it's 10 degrees. And then you're like, oh, okay. And then you go out and you think it's not 10 degrees. This feels like 18, but um, I think it's about 10, 11, 12 degrees, but I'm boiling anyway. There's no wind, which is lovely. I love days like this because normally in Yarmouth, it's really windy. Um, but that was a bit rubbish, that car boot sale. It's mostly like professional trader sellers, but there was one lovely lady who said, would you like to buy something from my 50p table? I was like, yeah. I was like, oh, I've got to buy something now because she was so nice. You know, if, you do, if you're selling, be really nice and have cheap prices and people will buy stuff because I just think, you know, just sort of think, oh, I've got to get something now. We've chatted, we've made eye contact, I've, you know, I've committed. So I bought some um, tea lights, which is actually quite good. 50p for, how many do I get? Oh no, 100 less four that have fallen out. And then, <laughs> and then another little set of candles that were 50p. Oh, they say home sweet home on them. Little, like little ones, can you see? They say home sweet home. So I spent a pound, uh, which isn't too bad. So I put, put the tea lights back. I'm on to the next one, but that wasn't a very good start. But uh, you know, if you don't go, you don't know. <laughs> Give us a wave. <laughs> he wanted to be on the video. Um, right, so I've got one more little row to do here. Um, I've spent two pounds 50. No, I just spent another two pounds 90 altogether. Um, yes, yeah, so there's not a lot here. But I've got a couple of things, a couple of Christmas jumpers. Yay! Um, right, so I'm going to do one more little row here. It's so hot, it is not 12 degrees. It feels like it's 30 degrees and I'm back in Greece. It feels so warm. Oh, there's some nice plants here. I'm not um, buying plants and stuff yet because our house isn't finished. And uh, once our house is all decorated, then I'll start buying some nice plants. and finishing touches so I'll wait otherwise they will die and I didn't find anything on the last row it's mainly sort of 
traders again I think there was about two stalls that were actually getting rid of things but it's you know Saturday car boot sales are a bit of a bonus the Sunday ones are where sort of people trying to get rid of things so that's why they're my favorite but I've got a little bag of stuff a couple of Christmas jumpers some Christmas wine glasses that were 20p um, so yeah I'm grabbing my little bargains I'm gonna try and wear um, a different Christmas dress or jumper for all of vlogmas that's my aim and to have a different like mug or cup which sounds ridiculous but it's just something I want to do so um yeah my little bargains I'll show you these in the haul which I will do probably not this Wednesday Wednesday after I think I'll do a car boot sale haul for then so that's the plan right I'm going to go off to the jumble sale now it's 25 to 11 so I should be um yeah bang on time it'll take about I don't know 10 minutes from here <laughs> It's time to get involved. It's actually really calm in here, it's fine. So I'm going through all the clothes. I've got a little pile here, there, and I'm just going through the ones on the table. And I'm looking in here now. So I'm delving into this big bucket thing, but it's five items for two pounds. I've got a few, I'll go through them at the end and sort of choose the ones I want, but yeah, I'm gonna have a good um, route around this bucket now. I'm finished at the jumble sale, I had a good look around, there were some books and pictures but I didn't really want any of those. I spent six quid um, and got quite a lot, so it was five items for two pounds, um, so I've got 15 items, but I, was, I think I was a bit panicky. You know when you just, I put stuff in my pile and I was going to go through it and I was like, oh, I'll just buy it and if anything isn't any good, I'll take it to the charity shop. I think I found quite a lot of nice things. I'll show you what I bought in the jumper sale today and I ordered some clothes from Joni um, because I don't know if you saw the charity shop haul. I'll link it below if you didn't and I found the most beautiful Joni dress in uh, Goulston at Sue Ryder for £3.50 and I kept going on the website before I bought the dress. I found, I didn't know you know in sort of when you shop online you don't know how they're going to fit so I never went through with the purchases um, or I didn't go through the purchases I should say and then um, so now I know that the size 12 fits me I bought a few things and only in the sale um, off the back of finding that lovely dress so I'll probably show you those as well today and have a quick try on I think Lee and Toby I'm going back home now but they're off out later I think they're going to go ape um, just the two of them they're gonna have a like boys afternoon uh, they've been to football this morning so I'm gonna go back and see them and then they'll probably head off so it'll give me a chance to yeah get all of my jumble sale bargains out and Joni clothes I think I'll do that this afternoon hello Tobes <laughs> Rufus hello oh hello gorgeous hello gorgeous boys hello gorgeous boys Toby and Rufus yay hello bestie Hello Rufus, I just came in and found these two like this. And you were licking Bestie's head and it was so cute. Oh, I love you, yeah, yeah. Hello, I'm in the YouTube corner. It's like I'm doing a haul. I'm, I am gonna do a haul. I'm gonna show you um, the things I bought from Joni and I'm really excited. From Joni, it's like she's my mate. Um, so I went online, as I said earlier on, and yeah, got some things in the sale. So I'm really excited. I wanted to open, I was like, no wait for the vlog and then we can kind of open it together and i'm quickly going to show you my um jumble sale finds because i just thought there's lots of hauls to do um i'm just going to show you them now right here right now then i can wash them and you know oh that's rufus hello what are you doing um so that's what i'm gonna do and oh yeah and then after this i'm gonna film a homeware haul i'll do jumble sale first and then joni clothing so what's this here i don't really know oh Okay, this is a jumper, a polo neck jumper, which I thought would look nice with my um, pinafore dress, the one um, that I found in the one pound shop in Tolworth. And I will do that um, one pound charity shop haul for Wednesday. That's when I'm gonna do that for. So I probably will film that on Wednesday actually for the evening. Anyway, so this is just like a polo neck from Next. And I thought that would look really nice. It would look quite Christmassy. This is a jumper for my mum. It's Zara Knit and um, obviously everything here is six quid. Uh, so that is for my mum, a little jumper. So hopefully she will like that. And then, oh, I took a chance on this. It was it's a dress, a new look dress. I just, I really like the colors. So I think maybe for next summer, it needs a wash. It was all like scrunched up in the pile because jumble sales, as you probably saw from 
me film a bit, er- a bit earlier. There's just stuff everywhere. Um, but hopefully they'll do really well. I do like a jumble sale. Okay, so, so here is this little dress. Oh, that's my tummy. Um, and it's quite long. I think it's kind of calf length. I don't know, you probably can't really see it. I'm not going to try any of these on. I'm just going to wash them. And um, I'm not going to do a good job here. It's got like cross straps at the back. Here's a H&M top. Oh, that's just a simple little, oh no, it's a dress. I think it might be quite tight, but it's in, what size is it? Oh, it's a 12. I don't know, I'll see. I thought I'd take a chance on that as well. It might be quite nice under sort of a longer coat, snuggly with boots. Here's another jumper. It's inside out. Um, it's a H&M jumper with some different colours. Is it wool or something? What is it? What are you? Probably not wool, acrylic. What you? Oh, wool. There's a little bit of wool in there. Alpaca as well. Um, so that'll be quite warm. Okay, onto another, another bag of jumble. Oh, here's the billabong. What is billabong? Is billabong like um, a surfy make or something? Okay. Oh god. Oh, that's. I'm laughing at the stuff. That's not a good sign, is it? So this is a really ultra snuggly, um, pajama top. You can obviously you can probably wear it out, but I won't. I will. I wear lots of fleecy stuff, um, like pajama wise, because I get so cold. I've, I always say it, but like our house is a Georgian house and it's beautiful, but it's freezing. So I got this, where's that from? Regatta. What is that? Is that just like a, I don't know, Debenhams or something, but it's quite nice. Um, you could obviously wear that out, but I will snuggle up in that. Um, oh, that looks quite a good mate, doesn't it? It feels and looks really new, you know, and you can just kind of, it feels so snuggly and soft. Um, so that is one of my things for six pounds. An amazing scarf. Oh, that's my watch, go away. Um, yeah, an amazing scarf. That was just Twitter, by the way. I wasn't like telling Lee to go away, Lee. It's just Twitter showing me something. Um, right, this is an amazing scarf. Look at those autumnal colors. Really glad I found this. This is a white stuff cardigan. And I think I got this at the very beginning and I picked it up because I just thought in case I didn't find um, anything else. So it's, it's quite sweet, isn't it? A little bit, it's quite bright. That's not really my color, but then um, it might be nice. I don't know, with a dress underneath? I don't know. Or if I change the buttons. Or if I don't wear it, I've only lost like 30p or 40p. This looks really sweet. Um, where's that from? Uh, Everyday Essentials, probably like Primark or something. So a little vest to wear underneath the top, um, which is handy. That feels brand new as well. And this is the Billabong cardigan thing. This is, it says it's small to medium. It's like a cardigan. So a Billabong Christmassy cardigan with pockets. And again, I don't know, let me put this on. Don't know if I'll wear it, but I thought I'd get it. Oh, it's got massive, hello, massive sleeves. I, you know, I could wear this maybe around the house, you know, and you're really cold. I could snuggle up. Oh, it's quite cosy. They're actually really cosy. Okay, let me see what this is like. I don't know. That was quite nice, the little pockets. So I could always wear this like around the house, maybe, like as a dressing gown. That's really snuggly. It hasn't got any um buttons, but. I don't know, I think that'd be nice around the house, like the hot chocolate. So that was that, I just thought I'd get it because um, it looked quite nice. I like the sleeves, they're not bell sleeves, but they're just cozy sleeves. Um, yeah, so that is that, we chuck it over there, then it'll go in the wash, and then final bag of jumble. You'll be glad to hear a little shirt for Toby. I love the colors, that'll look really nice with a pair of jeans. That's from Next, and what's this? Oh yeah, I wasn't sure about this, but I just thought I'd get it as one of my six things. No, how many things? 15 things, 13 things. So however many things I got. Um, it's a quiz dress and it's size, what size? 14. Um, and yeah, and I, I got this just in case. It might be quite nice. Actually, it might be nice on stage. Not sure, but I thought I may as well get it because um, it's so cheap. And then the last thing, is a jumper from Asda. And this looks in really good condition as well. I like that, I think that's really nice. So I've got a black corduroy skirt that I got from a car boot sale in the summer with little buttons up and I think, with a black vest underneath and the skirt, 
that'll look really pretty with a pair of tights and boots so we shall see so i will obviously wear these clothes in vlogs and i will do some pictures for instagram by the way if you want to follow me on instagram i'm kate mckaybe k-a-t-e-m-c-c-a-b-e-y and i put pictures on there every day of different outfits and mugs and stuff so um yeah follow me on there if you're not already doing so i love instagram after all that i need a coffee so i've got my mug of the day this is from a, a car boot sale in the summer and it was 20p and i found it in the bottom of a box um so i'm gonna have my coffee and then I'll get into my Joni haul. Mm. This is gonna be quite a long video. I hope that is okay, because obviously I've got a couple of hauls during the vlog. Um, but I suppose you can watch it in two parts if it's too long, can't you? I hope that's okay. Right, let me have the rest of this. I was gonna say something, but I've forgotten it. Oh yes, yeah, so everything, all of those clothes, six pounds, that's all I spent, which I think is brilliant. And then I spent, how much at the car boot sale this morning? Uh, it was a pound. 290 390 so my shopping today was nine pounds 90 pence for everything that's just amazing what you know things you can find you can find things so cheap if you just make the effort you know if you're lucky enough to have jumble sales and car boot sales near you they're just fantastic i really resent paying full prices for anything i'm not very good at it anymore even tk maxx i go in there and i love everything but i think oh it's expensive I didn't used to think like that, but I do now. Since so doing YouTube, I've got really sort of, really thrifty, but I suppose that's a good thing for my bank balance anyway. Right, I'm gonna drink the rest of this and get on with my Joni haul. Oh, excited. This feels a little bit like Christmas. I'm so excited, okay. So I've been looking at Joni clothes. I think I've said this before. Um, I've got, you know, I've gone online. I've looked at their website, website. I've looked at their website and I've put things in the basket and I haven't gone through with it. But then I did. I went through with it. Oh, I hope they fit four things. Does it tell me how much I spent? Yes, it does. Let me put that down there. I like the um bag. I like the colours. Okay, so how much did I spend in total? £63.20. That is a lot for me. Um, right, so the denim skirt was 14 quid. I've got a cat print skirt, £11.20. Diana boned lace dress was 18 quid and the sweetheart occasion dress was 16 pounds postage and packing three pounds VAT blah 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 63 pound 20 all in all then you get a returns thing um if you need to return it which is quite good it said their returns are quite simple right so let me see what shall I open first ah I will try these on okay I'll start with the cat skirt this is gonna be a really long vlog isn't it I'll try and be quick Oh, I love the, oh, this is gorgeous. I really, really hope this suits me. How pretty is that? Oh my God, so cute. And that was 11 quid, did I say? 11 pounds, yeah, crested a cat print skirt, size 12. Oh, I really hope that fits. So that's one of the things. Um, oh, oh, felt like I was the Incredible Hulk then. And it just flew out quickly. Okay, this is a denim skirt, which hopefully will fit. Oh, that's so, I love this stuff. I love it. I love it. I'm just looking at it and I love it. Um, okay, so that could be summer or like with tights and stuff. And then two dresses. I've got a wedding to go to in December and I was kind of thinking this might be the one for it because I feel like I should wear red. And a lot of people have said I suit red on here. What was that? Something just fell off. I don't know. I hope it wasn't anything important. Oh, that looks nice. So I'll try this lovely, beautiful red dress on. It looks so classy. Oh, yeah. I do have my other dress, but I don't feel it's wedding-y. I feel like it's evening smart. You know, the one um, in the charity shop haul. I will link that below in case you missed that and you want to see the Joni dress and the other things I found. This one looks so pretty as well. I could wear this to the wedding. I maybe don't have to wear red. Oh, my God. These are lovely. It feels so expensive. They really look like they're really nicely made. So I think this is a sweetheart dress, isn't it? Because it's got the little like boned bodice thing um, with a little belt. Oh, so pretty. Love that colour. They've actually got a, like, a velvet dress in this colour that I really like the look of. Um, but it wasn't in the sale. <laughs> so it goes against like... I saw a jumper in Next as well yesterday that said Head in the Cloud and it's yellow with white writing, but it was like 32 quid brand new. It wasn't in the sale. I was like, I just couldn't bring myself to buy it. I don't know if, uh, you know, a lot of people I think that watch my videos and stuff. Um, we like bargains, don't we? we? Just feel like you can't pay full price, but 
Yeah, these are brilliant in the sale. Right, let me try these on and I will show you what they look like. Fingers crossed they fit. I don't know about the skirt because sometimes um, skirts don't suit me, but we shall see. Ignore the top I'm wearing. I've just um, chucked it on to see what it would look like with um, this skirt. And it's nice, but it's a bit tight. It's quite snug. Um, so I'd have probably preferred the next size up. It's, I think it's so pretty though. It's such a shame that the cat skirt doesn't fit. It's too tight. Um, wow, which is a real pain, but I might, I could send this back. Yeah, I might return this and the denim skirt because it is a bit too tight. And I don't want to hold on to things I'm not going to wear, especially when I've paid, you know, you know, I've not paid a quid for them. I paid like, you know, proper money. So unfortunately I'll have to return the cat skirt and I loved it. Oh, that's a shame. That's why I stick to dresses because I know they will fit these skirts a little bit funny and jeans just how you know the shape that I am but never mind I will return the denim skirt because it is I just had a look in the mirror and it's too short as well so I don't want to be worrying about my skirt being too short so I'm going to return this and the denim one I've had a lot more luck with this dress it's I think it's beautiful I'm so pleased with it it feels so nice and it feels um it's really nicely made and it was 16 pounds. This might be one of the prettiest dresses I've ever worn in my life. I just tried it on and I was like, oh, like it's just so cute. I feel like such a lady, which I don't feel like a lady very often because I'm more of a silly idiot, but um, oh my God, it's just so pretty. I'm really, really pleased with this and the red one. I'm gonna send the skirts back. I hope you enjoyed the Joni try on and the jumble sale haul. What's the time? I am now going to film the homeware haul for next Sunday, or for this Sunday when you're watching this, and then I'm going to go and um, tidy up the living room, the little snug room, and make it look beautiful and put everything from the haul in there. So if you want to see that video, it'll be, yeah, on, on this Sunday. And I'm just in the bedroom that we're doing up and we've decided on a colour. It's this grey here. Um, it's from Wilkinson's. It is called Pearl Grey. That's the tester pot. And I've put it in various um, different bits of this room. It's over there as well. And it's like a, a really nice grey with a hint of blue in. And I think it's going to be perfect. This is the bedding from Next that I bought. Um, and I love that pink. So it's slightly lighter than that, the pink that's there. Well, hello, Rufus. Are you all right? Have you come to have a nosy? Um, yeah, so just thought I'd update you on the colours in here. I also put it up there. So the the other grey there was a different test of pop, but we both really like that one. I think likes, Lee likes it. I don't know if you've seen it, but me and Lee's dad were like, yep, that's the one. So we're going to paint everything in grey and these panels that are going to go here. And then I'm going to have a dark grey bed with pink bedding and a blue throw with probably some blue curtains that's the plan it's sunday morning now and the time is quarter to nine so i'm just off the car boot sale in norwich because um the one in yarmouth is closed i heard somebody saying it yesterday as i went to um the car boot sale in rollsby the second one so that's where i'm going so hopefully i shall find some bargains i was really tired this morning but it's one of the last sort of boot sales where the weather's going to be really good so that's why I thought I'd make the effort so I'm all excited I've got myself a mug of the day I'm qu quickly going to drink this and then um go to the car boot sale this is a Kath Kidston one this was from a charity shop about 10 years ago in Kingston uh, we used to go there all the time Princess Alice Hospice Shop furniture shop we got so much um from there when I first bought my house in 2003 in New Malden but that's a long time ago right so I'm gonna go and I will speak to you later this is gonna be quite a long vlog so I hope that's okay I was like going through it last night thinking oh and it's about 50 minutes I'll cut that down but um it might be about 30 which I suppose isn't too bad so uh yeah let me know weekend vlog how long you like them because hauls around sort of 15 20 minutes but vlogs I sort of try and get them for about 25 but sometimes they go over so let me know how long you like the weekend vlogs because I suppose like 10 minutes per day is about right um let me know your thoughts and I've finished at the car boot sale it's just gone 11 o'clock um it was okay it's there wasn't that many sellers like normally it's full of people selling stuff and I thought it would be quite busy because it's one of the last you know Sundays where we've got good weather but no it wasn't um 
it wasn't huge but I got some things um, I got a lovely mug from Bernice hello Bernice who watches uh, the vlogs and videos and she gave me a free mug it's like a Christmas one it's really sweet so thank you for that um, yeah and I found I found a light for our bedroom that was ten pounds um, to go like a ceiling light and it's really nice so that was a good bargain um, but there wasn't I didn't get much else I don't think anyway I've got a white stuff dress of 50p uh, I think a white stuff little scarf a couple of Kath Kidston bits um, but not loads so I didn't spend very much money I think I spent about 20 pounds all in all which isn't a lot um so I'll obviously do a car boot sale haul with everything in from the last few days and I'll put that on for next Wednesday so a week on Wednesday um so I'm going to end the vlog here as I'm going to go home and then we're off to I want to say laser quest quasar or something you know when you run around with lasers we're doing that me lee and toby and some of them um, some of his friends like lee's cousin i don't know how i'm telling you lee's cousin and her husband and their two kids so that's what we're doing then we're going to go for a carvery i think this afternoon so i'm looking forward to that um but i'm going to get the heating on in the car because it's so cold um and i'm going to eat my eat natural breakfast still got loads we get I got loads of these for free when I did that promotion so we're still eating those and they're yummy um yeah and I'm gonna go home so I hope you enjoyed this vlog I know it was quite long so if you made it to the end thank you very much have a lovely week and I'll have um for Wednesday a uh what's it called one pound charity shop haul everything was a pound it was one pound and then for Friday pound land or I might do a pound stretcher video I'm not sure maybe pound stretcher for another time because I do need some house bits and then uh anything else yeah I've got some other stuff oh a room makeover yeah oh it looks amazing that room makeover video for the snug room is going to be here on Sunday yeah going to be on YouTube then so thanks so much for watching and yeah I look forward to doing more videos and I'll speak to you soon bye I know I just said goodbye but it's not actually goodbye because I want to show you the light that I bought at the car boot sale and um, for this room it's perfect for in here and Lee really likes it as well so that is the light. Right, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. It's my hand saying bye.